what's up. So, video for today. Um, wasn't sure what I was going to do, but I had a dream. If you can't tell, I just woke up. I look like garbage. If you know anything about me, <clears throat> if you know anything about me, I don't, I don't dream very often. Rarely ever dream. So, when I do dream, it's always like some screwed up, weird... I had a dream once Batman was trying to kill me. Um, that's... That was terrifying. That was terrifying. It's always something terrifying and horrible. But, like, um... Yeah. Um... That was scary. He had, like, red eyes. And I was running from him and running from him. And he just was on me. And at the very end of the dream, like, I dove into this lake and used one of those bamboo shoots to kind of breathe. And I thought it was safe. Except... I'm, I'm sitting there underwater, breathing. And then... I just see these red eyes pop up at the top of the lake, and I, was, I knew I was dead. Anyway, dream today is two-parter, one part, two part. First part, I was driving down the road with my uncle, and there were these two kids in the car. I didn't recognize these kids; I'd never seen them before in my life. Um, and uh, all of a sudden, what I think is one of the kids is like in the middle of the road like a couple hundred feet in front of us and I was very confused because we didn't stop we didn't let to get out but um like we almost hit him he's just like casually strolling kicking the dirt hanging out so we we drive past this kid and I'm like is that the kid that was just with us because I look over there's one kid and I wasn't sure maybe I miscounted maybe I thought there was two kids there was only one kid then, like, we pull over at this gas station, and and that's it for that part. That's pretty much all I remember about that part. It was that was another part gets a little weird. So, let's see if I can remember how it started. Basically, there's this guy, and he's he's that kind of person in your life that's a douchebag, and um, like he's just real, <laughs> you know. I don't I don't know how to explain it, but. Um, yeah, so, something had happened to him, like, he was bragging about having sex with somebody or something, I don't know, and, um, it is relevant to the story, um, and we were in, like, this office complex, but it kind of looked like something out of Metroid, where it was, like, a massive, like, a parking garage floor, but it was all empty, like, just imagine. And then it was, like, the office building. The whole thing was, like, a, like an office setting. But then there was, like, like weird shrubbery and stone and, and like, weird stuff, you know. And, um, something, there were these, these, like, weird rock beings. Like, they had these weird shaped heads. Kind of like Alien, but not that ridiculously long. And, um, like, they were all different. There was, like, blue and, and green and purple and, you know, yellow. And they all had different colors. And they had, like, big blocky chests. And they wanted to take over the world. And for some reason, them killing the humans would let them rule the world for all eternity. I don't know. So, anyway, this guy... Like, we all knew we had to stop these rocky being things. And then, um, I go over and deep into the office, and there's, like, this weird shrine. And this douchebag shows up, and he's like, oh, I gotta take a leak. So he goes to take a leak, and then he, you know, like, he just shrivels up. And then he turns into this rock being, and he's, like, red. So I knew he was powerful. But, um... Yeah, so at this point, I know that I'm screwed because I see a rock being and they're going to kill me. So I just start hauling. I'm hauling because there's like one, the, the douchebag guy turned into one, and then there's like two coming in from over here, and there's like six coming in from over here, and I'm like, I'm dead if I don't find some people to help me. So I'm running and running, and I dive through this cart, like, a, like an AV cart, and I like flip it backwards. I don't even know how I did it, but that was a dream. That's probably how. Um, so I flip it back, and I... Gonna yawn. Nope. 
and then I flip it back and I hit these hit these rock beings, so I gave myself a little bit of time, and I'm like booking it. And then all of a sudden I, I see the part where there's all these people and there's all these rock beings, and then all of a sudden these rock beings just like kind of, boom, like they grow like a foot and a half, two feet. I don't know, like at will, they're just boom, 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 cloud of smoke. They're giants, and um. We had to fight him. So, like, I'm punching these things in the face, but it doesn't seem to have any effect. I just remember, I feel, I'm punching them, and it's just like, like, I don't know. It's like, it's a dream. I don't, I don't never punch anybody before. I punched somebody in the fifth grade once. Anyway, so I'm punching these things in the face, and I'm trying to win, and then all of a sudden it, like, skips to, my memory skips to, like, a woman who's, like, big scary mouth. But she's like talking to me normal. Like apparently she was my teacher and this douchebag's teacher. And like she said that, you know, yes, I want to take over the world, but I gotta stop that cocky SOB or something like that. Like she just did not like this guy <laughs> who was like the leader of the bad people or something. I don't know. So yeah, that's it. That's my dream. It's weird. Doesn't make any sense. Um yeah, that's about it. Just wanted to share that with you guys because I don't normally dream if you know anything about me. Uh, and when I do dream, it's confusing and weird and, and or terrifying. So that's it. Sorry for looking like garbage. Yeah, that's it. Hope you guys have a great day. Remember. Remember.